people, Zar Thwomp here, and welcome to episode one of my new Let's Play, Paper Mario for the N64. The third Paper Mario game that I played, funnily enough, because I actually did not discover this game until after I had already played Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which was my first ever Paper Mario game, and Super Paper Mario, which was my second. <laughs> yeah, in fact, the story behind this game is that I actually found it on the Wii Shop channel by chance when I first came across it because basically I wanted an easy way to play, to play the original Mario Bros. So I was like, hey, I'm going to go on the Wii Shop channel. That seems pretty cool because this was, a, this was an era before I had emulation and before basically I had to mess with transforms. Yeah, before you ask, the reason why the screen is like that is like this is because the game has some weird perspectives, to say the least. Because it may look, because basically, if I originally configured the file to my OBS environment to look at this transform, to look at basically this screen right here, and I did match up, but then I discovered that the actual game has different, has different perspectives, so I had to edit it according to that. Anyways, let's go. First play. I tried this before and things were not working out very well. Essentially, for some reason, game capture did not want to work well with my OBS, so I had to go with window capture. So anyways, let's do this. This is Thwomp, my typical name. Hopefully this all works out. Mail call! Okay, sorry, sorry. Just wanted to verify that my game was actually tracking. Yeah, okay, yep, yep, we're tracking. Yeah, yeah, you'll probably, you'll notice a, a little black bar above the screen. The reason for that is because the text box does go a little higher. And I had to accommodate for that. I'm not going to have the text box get cut off. That would be just, that would look unclassy. Though, then again, what about this channel? What on this channel is classy? I mean, really, just listen to me. Just listen to me. Basically, it feels like you have to get a translation guide just to hear Zarthwomp, the Zarthwomp dialect of English. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. Oh boy, did she have my mommy? I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you could both attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be Daisy Sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Oh boy! I get the cake! And there's, and there's entertainment, Mario! It could be adult entertainment! There could be strippers there, Mario! I could save the stripper! Frankly, I, Luigi gives off this energy of me, of that one guy who would basically sit in, a, in the back of a strip club. He wouldn't even be sitting in the front of the strip club. He'd be sitting at the back of the strip club, just giving this, giving a specific girl just this intense look as Luigi formulates plans on how to save her. You know Luigi would do that. You know that would be Luigi's grand scheme and strategy. What a significant castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Now, excuse, excuse me, Mario. I have to go and search up for that adult entertainment. Luigi, I don't think the entertainment is adult themed. Nonsense, Mario. What other entertainment would there be? And then Red Toad comes out. Okay, you want to see my shirtless magic? That's right. I strip off the, the shirt and then I start making you guess cards. Every card you I guess correctly, you take an article of clothing off. And every card I get wrong, I take off an article of clothing. Say, Mario, why don't you go and see Princess Beach? I'll go later. I'm thinking I'll mingle for now. I gotta find that adult entertainment, Mario. If you press the A button in front of the door up there, you can open it. Anyways, other controls. B button is gonna do nothing for the time being. If you press up on the C stick, it brings out your stats. Basically, as you can see, we have health, HP, which is health points, FP, which is flower points, essentially your special moves. That star up there is our star points, aka our experience. And in the upper right hand most corner, that is our coin count. Basically, currency. Anyways, the other six are going to do nothing for the time being. If you basically press the Z button, which is the left trigger on my controller, you can basically spin. B button does nothing, as I stated before. And... Okay, we can't pause the game. We're too good. We're not good enough to pause the game, apparently. So anyways... 
Uh, okay, there's supposed to be a toad guard. Okay, it looks like the toads. Yeah, the emulator. Okay, this is not, this is not emulated thing. Okay. Okay, gotta search out where it is. I know that there's a, that basically we got, we can go to Peach's room. Where, where's Peach's room? I know it's, oh, or, or no, 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 it's on the lower level. Yeah, it is on the lower level of the castle. What am I talking about? Doesn't need to open. We can't go in that room. Make a fool of me, game. Fool me twice. It will suffice. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Doesn't need to open. I'll talk to you, Elder. Let's talk to you, Scott. Ah, special salutations, Mario. Do you know Frosty here? He's come all the way from the Shimmer region, which lies far to the north from here. His only friend is a snowman because he's a pathetic piece of crap, Mario. Okay, let's go into the second floor of the castle. Okay, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm not going crazy. I, my emulator isn't having issues. Anyways, here's Peach's room right down here. This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. Come on, let me in. Huh? Oh, no, absolutely not. I don't think it's very polite to go into a room without asking her first, Mario. Oh, please. I have been to this room several times. I said no, and that means no. And you are simply not allowed to go in there. Me, too bad Red Toad isn't guarding that, because uh, frankly, Red Toad, you'd be like, Shoot, yeah, go on in. Sniff her bed sheets. I do it on my break all the time, when no, or when no one's looking. I said no, and that means no. You're simply not allowed to go in there. Let me in. Boy, you're persistent. I guess I have no choice. Hurry up in there, though. And don't touch anything. Oh, we'll do what we want, Green Toad. We'll do whatever we want. Eh. Eh. Come on, can I use dramatic irony? What a big fireplace. And what a cozy fire. Her dresses are beautiful, but they all look the same. This must be her favorite style of dress. I'm not going to sniff at her tennises. Why you just start sniffing? Oh yeah, that's what the stuff. And I just spit it on my screen. Hooray! These are cosmetics. Mario looks fine with Adam. Mario, he doesn't need changes. Mario doesn't need changes to his wardrobe and a freaking. Okay, that's the best I can do for the time being. Why a fluffy bed? It looks like this bed was designed for sweet dreams. And the more, if you know what that means, the wink, a wink. It doesn't need to open. Mario just can't break it with the face. He just can't shatter it. A framed photo of Mario. Oh yeah, that's it right. She has my dick pics. I sent her my dick pics and I said, look at this princess. How, how was it? To tell you the truth, I've never even seen me inside of a room. And meanwhile, Red Toad used to shake his head. You rookie, you mere amateur. Okay, let's head out, let's head forward, because we can't really do anything else in Peach's Castle. We can only move forward with the story. That's the only thing of real interest in Peach's Castle, basically, just seeing her bedroom. But anyways, I just want to apologize for that little black bar. Basically, this is the best I can do with my emulator, okay? This is the best I can do, and we just got to deal with it. Hey, it's better than what I have. I mean, really, what I have is just black bars all around my screen. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. Where's the big cake? You said that to be a cake, bitch. You were lying with the cake. Uh, uh, what are you talking about, Mario? Oh, don't you open it down with me. In your hands, you said, oh, yeah, I got the cake for you. I got the cake. So, but where is it? It's not there, bitch. It's not there. And where's Luigi's adult entertainment? That is his high point of his weak princess. Don't take it away from him. He's got nothing else to live for. Have you ever seen the horrors of a man who has nothing to live for and who has access to a Mario Kart? I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Oh, you can greet the guests, but you can't get me a Mario cake. Nobody will bother us here. We chat, we relax and chat, just you know, okay, let's chat the pitch. Where's my kick? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany Mario? Oh, please, uh, give me my kick. That is what I want right now, bitch. I'm hungry, I want the kick. That better be the cake man who is getting that cake. 
And then Luigi, all right, now the adult entertainment's kicking in. Oh boy, I hope they're taking a Serena. On Vegas. On Tijuana. Red Tijuana. Are you all right, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you, it was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I looked up your castle in the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. We're expecting that, huh? Because guess what? I revolutionized simple technology. With my new synth thrusters, I can now take us in the sky. You won't notice me, princess. And you will let me sniff your hair. Ha! This castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. You will give me your bath water. Huh? What? It, it's Mario? What a shock. Huh, not really. I was I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I have had my problems in the past, but this time's different. This time, I'm going to win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Mario, you can do it. Okay, hopefully the transitions were going pretty well with the voice mod. Because frankly, I love doing the Bowser voice mod. It just it just feels so much better than doing my original Bowser voice, which was essentially, essentially my Nekumar voice. Anyways, controls. You have strategies, which we can't use. Items, which we have none of. And jump. Let's use jump. That, yeah, that's all we can do. We don't have action commands. We can't really do anything with that. Fortunately, Bowser's also pretty weak at this stage. I mean, he's the very first fight. Anyways, with Bowser, just press the A button. Easiest find in the game. Yeah, we can't guard, we can't do anything of the sort. All we can do is just keep jumping on Bowser. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I saw from Sawhaven. It's the Star Rod. I beat up a big blue penguin to get this. This fine piece of work is the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the star to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. I have tasted the rainbow, and it tastes like pain. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? Yeah, that Anyways, at this point, okay, uh, 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 what? Oh, okay, never mind, my game just wasn't lying to resume. Okay, there we go. Anyways, at this point, Bowser becomes unbeatable. All you can do is basically just jump on him. <laughs> is that all you've got? How sad. You must take some vitamins, cause that didn't hurt at all. I take five, I take five, I take my Flintstone gummies. The pebbles and the bear bears make me strong. Yep, just as I expected. Mario is no match for the new me. Hit the I don't my time to be anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night! Oh no! Mario, get up! Yo, 
Yes! Oh yeah! I did it! I finally did it! I beat my own rival Mario! Yes! Now I can finally sniff Peach's hair! Congratulations on your victory, your victorious... your viciousness! That's why you're king! As long as I am this Starlord, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Not Mario, not Red Toad and his shot, his 12 gauge shotgun, not the IRS, no one. Well, 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 I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Yes, and Mario falls to the sky. Okay, yeah, hopefully the transitions went pretty well with the voice mod. I know I'm dwelling on that a little, but basically, the thing is, is that, basically, if I were to use the standard, oh yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is just the perfect summary of my, pro of my experience with emulators. Prologue, a plea from the stars. Yeah, but anyways, when it comes to the voice mod, I can't do the standard hockey sort of thing because there's a weird delay when I change from the standard mic, the clear, the no filter mic, to basically one with voice, with the voice modulator. Because basically, it would result in a delay that would cause some text to get cut off if I were to read it. Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. More importantly, does he have anything good in his wall, in his pockets? Quickly, loot his body. Loot his body. He's unconscious. He doesn't know what we're doing. But Bowser's the star rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Fun fact, when it came to that star right there, basically, the, the, the pessimistic green one, basically, I always thought his, that his little mustache was actually just a frowny face. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, where did I park my car? It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a maroon Chevy. Uh, I think I left it by the market, but I don't know. I left a pack of Rolaids in there, and I don't want anyone touching my Rolaids. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather around, everyone. Send Mario your power. Phew, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up, please. It really sounds like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, what could that be? This red shirt is out, and this mustache. You know this really looks like the white only Mario. Let's see how much money he has in his wallet. It couldn't be good at the real Mario. Hey, hey, wake up, come on. I've been at him. Yeah, and then basically just start, yeah, and then basically Goombario, she just starts jumping and slamming into Mario's back. Oh no, he won't wake up. He's dead. Quickly, take his shoes. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Dad, Goomba, Goombario. Hey, Mario. Quick, quick favor. You mind going to the supermarket and finding my red, my red Chevy? I left the back of Rollies and then look, I, I'm not saying that the Rollies are gone, it's the end of the world, but really, I spent 99 cents on those Rollies and really, I kind of want to enjoy them because I don't want my dollar to be wasted. Uh, it, I mean, you can buy me some Altoids or some Tic Tacs, just something small that I can just carry on the road, you know, that, that's all I'm asking for, Mario, just, just... My snack food needs are important, Mario. I have nothing. Mario, can you hear me? Mario, I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. 
But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Series R Summit. Please, Mario, we Star Spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. No, I'm a freaking Italian! Screw you, I'm going to sleep forever! Ow, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! You haven't opened your eyes for days and days! I hope you weren't sick! Now, don't worry, Mario! Don't worry! I made sure to keep everyone from touching your wallet! Uh, but... Wait, my wallets are not here! That's because I stole it! Why? I wanted money! This place? This is Goomba Village! It's a tiny village that's just west of Toe Town! The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas! I robbed them blind every night! I still can't believe that they haven't noticed I've been taking all their stuff! The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you ever meet! They're the ones who found young guys in the forest and carried you here to get better! Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shoe Star Summit? No! I saw nothing like that! And I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house! I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream! Could to be a liar? Because those are fighting words to Todd. I will fight you right here and right now in this house! Okay, maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from the, a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you made them a visit. Okay, let's go visit the Goombas. What do you have to say, boy? Hey, Mario. I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. And why are you not wearing any of the official Mario swag? You don't know what this means for me to meet you. Seriously. Oh, land sake, Mario. So nice to meet you, ma. I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. I Curse you, controller. Curse you and your controlleriness. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest your house. What? You have to leave right now? Oh, shootings are something, something aboard, no doubt. Oh, I believe that something is your toe down. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you get out to the east. Can we just jump the fence? No, this fence! It defies the space-time continuum. You, Jay, you can't pierce the impregnable defenses of this fence. That earthquake the other day really did job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the sky was falling. Just relax and don't worry. I'll have this fixed Jeffy. Five to ten business days. Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest and you didn't open your eyes at all the whole time. Oh, Mario, how low, dear. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba, Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. <laughs> Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? I don't give three craps about your grandchildren. I want to get out of the village. No. What? You're here forever, Mario. You're our main attraction. Especially little Goombario. Why, she looks just like me when I was young. <laughs> and when was that, lady? When fire was invented? Is that picture on a cave wall in France somewhere? Oh, yeah! Uh, what the? Mario! Uh, you saw me. Oh, yes, Mario, is it? So you're, you're awake a lot. So good. I uh, knew you both. Uh, call me Goomba. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so uh, I'm Goomba. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? Uh, I'm very busy fixing the veranda. Yes, the veranda. Not reading Mushroom Girl Monthly. Then why do you have a copy of Mushroom Girl Monthly behind your back? I admit nothing. I plead the fifth. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I swear, I love adding just a whole new level of raw to Paper Mario. I will ruin your memories of this game, I swear. Oh, Mario, my dad was looking for you. He's saying to tell you that he's finished fixing the gate. So I guess now you can travel east to Toe Town and choose our summit, huh? Come on, let me talk, let me talk. 
Oh, what job? Sorry to have kept you waiting. The gate is finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you will eventually reach Chotel, the home of Princess Peach's castle. Oh, no, no. I did not know anything about that. I only save it on a weekly basis. Thank you, Goomba Ba, for telling me this most crucial of information. I believe the truth shall show me it's just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you, but go to the calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Never! That's a luck, Mario. <laughs> yeah, look at my voice is cracking right there. I, my throat could not handle the cami laugh. <laughs> ah, my instincts were right! Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser! You're a hardy one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you while Lord Bowser is uh, is busy on his Princess Peach, uh, looking over Princess Peach's OnlyFans. What? What? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Where are you, rude little? I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Tammy Koopa. Hm. I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to say Princess Peach ridiculous laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. Block. And the gate has been destroyed. <laughs> Mario, you will nearly weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser has made. Your world is ours now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just fixed that gate! Nobody said gate to me! Hammy Koopa, that thing! Did you hear what she said about the princess? But more importantly, did you see what she did to my gate? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing happened to her. But Mario, kick her ass, Mario! Kick her ass! Avenge my gate! What, what, what? Browns are wanting to kidnap Princess Peach again? Oh, unbelievable! And now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? Um, that could be a problem. Dad, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Um, oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goomba's big, with Goomba's big hammer. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will you? Okay, we'll ask you for that in the next episode. Anyways, I really appreciate that you took a ride to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.